Now, when you think of moving heads, words like big, heavy, and bulky tend to spring into mind. The American DJ Inno Pocket Spots is none of those things. This is an ultra compact moving head with a ton of features inside. Let's take a look. Now the body of the light is made from plastic but feels nice and robust. On the front of the head is a manual focus ring so you can make sure your gobos are always nice and sharp. On the base you have all your connections for power and DMX. And on the other side a digital display to change all of your settings including things such as pan and tilt inversion and even selectable dimming curves. One slightly annoying thing is there's no IEC power output like on the pocket scan and pocket roll, so you can't daisy chain your power on your pocket spots. The pocket spot has full DMX control with multiple channel modes, allowing you to take control of your lights to create your own custom light show. And if DMX programming isn't for you, then you can use the master slave function to easily create your own synchronized light show. So if you had four pocket spots, you could have one pair as the master and slave one, with the other pair both as slave two. This gives you a synchronized light show with the different pairs of lights doing different things but still in time with each other. You can also get an optional IR wireless remote control, allowing you to take manual control over what the light is doing but also change some settings on the fixture like sound active mode and shows. Now what I think is really impressive about the pocket spot is American DJ have managed to cram both a colour and separate gobo wheel inside this tiny little moving head. You have seven different colours plus white along with seven separate gobos plus an open spot. So what about brightness? At the heart of the pocket spot is a single 10 watt Cree LED. This may not sound like much but I was really surprised with how bright the output was. Since the light has a narrow beam angle of only 13 degrees, it can focus that 10 watt of power into a highly concentrated spot of light. Now once you start working in larger venues, brightness is going to become an issue, but that's not what this light is designed for. It's the pocket spot. It's designed for a small mobile DJ setup to work in small to medium sized venues, and it's perfect for doing that. Few things to mention about rigging this light. The light comes with an omega bracket which screws into the base of the pocket spot with an allen key. This allows you to attach a clamp and hang the moving head from your light stand or truss. It also comes with a detachable eyelet to attach your safety chain. Now the pocket spot can't be rigged sideways as it puts too much strain on the tiny stepper motors. So your only options are to put the pocket spot on its base or hang it on your light stand or truss. If you are planning to attach the light onto your truss, make sure that the bolt that holds the clamp onto the Omega bracket is done up nice and tight. If the bolt is loose, then the momentum of the head as it moves causes the entire base to spin on the Omega bracket. So the pocket spot has four different built-in light shows. Different shows for if you have the spot set on its base or hung from your light stand or truss, and different shows for if you want 360 degree coverage around the venue or if you just want the light to point straight out into the audience. So it's time to turn the lights off and see what these guys can do in the dark. Starting with these guys on their own, then adding in the rest of the family with the pocket scans and pocket rolls. So I'm a big fan of the pocket spot. For such a small light, it packs a lot of features inside, and I'm still amazed by the fact that it has a separate color and gobo wheel. If you've been thinking about investing in your first pair of moving heads, these guys will be a great place to start. If you want to check out my other videos on the pocket series family, I've got my reviews on both the pocket scan and the pocket roll, and a look at how all of the pocket series lights work together. I'll put annotations at the end of the video, and there'll be links in the description below if you want to watch those videos. But that's it for now. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.